hello everyone and welcome back to my channel we are currently in the airport in barcelona and um, i have some tea for you guys today so i just got off the flight from paris as you guys may know i'm in my honeymoon with my hubby we actually never really got a chance to go on our honeymoon after being married five years so i'm super grateful um so if you want to see all of our honeymoon adventures, girl, I look so insane. Make sure you subscribe to my um, vlog channel down below. And if you are just interested in the tea, I got you too, girl, okay? Uh, we might do a little sightseeing with a little tea, but we got it, okay? So listen. Oh, girl, hang on. I took notes because you guys know me. I'm the valedictorian. Girl, how do you even say it? Valedictorian of tea videos. I put you here. I don't know this is not the best angle but i took some notes so jeffree star um did his video with Sh well with shane he he kind of really pretty much clickbaited everybody um you know in the thumbnail it shows that he and shane would well, it makes it seem like they're together but you know i'm not even mad at that because it's like youtube is like full of clickbaiters and it's sort of like part of it, but yes, I mean, I really thought, you know, cause he did say in a tweet, um, Shane and I go hunting for like, you know, our products in Nordstrom. But anyways, so the whole video is about that, that he's been receiving a lot of different messages and pictures and videos that um, their products are Nordstrom, the conspiracy collection and palette. So he goes on to say that he did not know that the products were in Nordstrom at all. He does go ahead and show the um, clip where he makes fun of Kat Von D for having her products at TJ Maxx, where he says like, this is where old friends products go to die. And then, you know, it's like karma's a little bit of a bitch. Um, so he actually says he's super embarrassed by that video and um, you know, that he like regrets saying it, but he was really hurt by Kat Von D. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys, in this video, he seems so... I just... I've never really been a huge fan of Jeffree Star, but, like, in this specific video, he just seems, like, kind of, like, so fake and kind of like a liar. You know what I... I just, like... I don't trust anything that came out of his mouth in this video. He just seemed like it was just not it. So he goes to Nordstrom. He makes a huge deal out of it. He buys all the products that were there. He makes fun that they were not, that they, some were open. Like he, it's sort of like he's really trying to, I don't know if it's because I had three hours of sleep and I'm being extra bitchy, but um, it just seems to me like he was trying to play it off as much as he can. And honey, you are not an actress, okay? Um, he, so when he gets home, he explains that the Morphe product well, the Morphe brand, I guess, or the stores had backup, backup or um, overstock or something. And then they actually brought it to Nordstrom. Like, I guess they sold it to Nordstrom. But that he had no idea that that was happening. Um, and, you know, then he calls Shane and they act like, you know, Shane is like hyperventilating of laughter, everything that after everything Jeffree Star is saying. Um, I don't know. It just seems so ingenuine. It seems so fake. He calls him. They both act like they're so in shock. They laugh about it. I don't know. You know what? Like I said in this in a video before I, um, when I found out that because we all thought they were going to do a video together. I was like, you know, I knew Shane Dawson's comeback was coming, but I I was really like shocked that it was going to be with Jeffree Star. And I knew he was smarter than that. You guys, I knew his return to YouTube was not going to be with Jeffree Star. This was just a little cameo like he does in the Rylan Adams videos, or not even, because this was just literally a phone call. But um, a lot of you guys actually said that you were very excited for Shane's comeback, but that you were really disappointed that it would have been with Jeffree Star, and that you guys lost respect for him and this and that. So, you know, I just honestly found it so, I don't know, these YouTubers seem so fucking fake to me, you guys. Girl, I think this is a three hour, uh, nah, not three hour sleep, uh, but I don't know. It just seemed to me so fake. It seemed to me like he was trying so hard to like pretend that it didn't bother him. And he said he was gonna donate the, 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 uh, he said he was gonna donate the, um, 
the makeup to like a charity and like um were the ones that he didn't like open up i guess so anyways you guys what do you think let me know in the comments below honestly it seemed to me so fake so like i said we're in the barcelona airport we just arrived um so i'm super excited to be here uh it's super early too it's like 9 a.m but um yeah so we're gonna figure out how to get to the hotel hopefully we can do check-in um but yes you guys thank you so much for watching i love you all so much and thank you for all the well wishes all of the wonderful messages and um yeah follow the vlog channel and uh instagram if you want a little more look in deep or look inside or go on this adventure with us okay i love you so much i'm gonna go on these like electric automatic stairs they're so yummy all right well do you have anything to say Bye. do you like jeffree star i don't really care about him same girl what is he saying we missed our flight all right i love you guys bye